say you're a good girl, I say you're a liar. Say you're a liar. Cause such a good girl of a vampire. Do you think I'm an athlete? What are you talking about? Well, you know, I think I'm an athlete, and sometimes I feel like you guys don't see me that way. What's that? You're beautiful. Thank you. But what else? What else? Is beauty all that matters to you? Your hair is cool. Are you autistic? Um, I might be, but I have friends, so power! What we need to do now is get focused and stop pointing fingers. You're a problem. You're a real, real problem. And I'm asking you to hold me just like the morning paper. Pitch between your pointer, your index, and your thumb. It's a set. Over the last month, we've been talking a lot about Max's FFS, but I wanted to take some time to update on how my FFS journey has gone. As of a week ago, it has been six months since I got my facial feminization surgery. And although there are a lot of things causing me dysphoria at the moment, I have some really exciting news. I'm getting health insurance! And if you're a European watching this, you're probably like, girl, that's exciting. As an American, yes, unfortunately. Around one third of people in America are either underinsured or without insurance altogether, and I happen to fall into that category. But since it's November, that means registration's opened again in California state and i am getting insurance starting january 1st but let's go back to the update since it's been six months which by the way where did the time go so quick recap they literally cut my chin off of my jawline and that's not me exaggerating like my chin was severed off of my jaw and naturally that's a lot of physical trauma on your body so i didn't have feeling in my chin for a while another portion of my ffs was literally having my forehead contoured if you look at my profile, you can tell I don't really have a pronounced bridge anymore. And in order for them to do that, they literally had to take this part of my forehead down, which meant the entire third portion of my face was stripped off of my skull. And naturally, because of that, I also didn't have sensation on the top of my head for a while or my forehead. And the strangest thing about it was when I did start getting sensation on the top of my forehead, I would touch right here and feel it up here. But I'm glad to report that after six months, I have almost full sensation on my forehead and the top of my head, but the sensation on my chin is still a little dull and feels kind of numb. And it could take up to two years until it's normal again. Besides that though, everything's been healing surprisingly well. I haven't really had any issues. I really love my FFS results. They maintain the integrity of my initial facial features while also helping a lot of the dysphoria that I had been experiencing prior to FFS. And now that I'm gonna have health insurance, I can start working towards the other portions of my transition that I wanna focus on. Anyways, I love you. I hope you're doing well. And if you haven't seen it yet max started making baking videos a few days ago i'll link it down below if you want to see her bake or if you want to see how she's healing okay bye Shop disabled this holiday season. Chronically Artsy sent me so many cute items. Oh my god. Oh, Keychain. That's so me. That is so me. It's another keychain. Gorgeous. Cutie little sparkly white earrings that I can put in my new trinket holder. How cute this is. Resin trinket holder. She made all this by hand. Look at the glitter. 
beautiful. Next, a charm and a necklace so I can kind of make my own little pendant. They're Christmas tree. She made these as well. All of these pens. Are you looking? Look at them. Look at them. She told me not to do that. Next, these beautiful pink little flower earrings. He made me these little charms for his collar. Look, the little fish. So cute. Can you imagine finding this at the bottom of your stock and being like, wow. Look at the glitter. They're heart studs. And did you know everything is hypoallergenic? Chronically Artsy is also having a sale for Black Friday, which is 30% off order. $15 or more, but it ends tomorrow. Make sure you shop now. Yo, 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 what do you do for a living? Huh? What do you do for a living? Oh, thank you. Thank no, what, you. What do you do for a living? No, no. What? Last night I dreamed I was a bottle of ketchup and you were mustard. Which is weird, because usually your manny's my dreams. Why do you suppose that is? Blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. Blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. Blame it on the vodka. Blame it on the henny. Blame it on the blue pack. Got you feeling dizzy. Blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. Blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. Um, I can send you the address. He didn't bring his phone, so... Oh, I can give you the address. No need. Can't hurt. Might hurt. You... are not... Told you. What? Told you, bro. Are you serious? Told you, can I really rock? Right. I'll put the helipad over there. I'll put my Olympic-sized swimming pool over there. The five-bed mansion can go over there. Hold You're not dumb. All right, you're learning disabled. And don't think about that too much because it sounds like I've just found a new politically correct way to insult you. But believe it or not, that sentence has actually brought feelings of relief for people like me who are academically handicapped. At the age of 10, I was diagnosed with dyscalculia, which can include the inability to retain basic math facts, poor time management, and difficulty handling finances. Dyslexia, which can include trouble with fluent word recognition, labor-intensive reading, poor spelling, and difficulty understanding the meaning of text. Dysgraphia, which can include trouble forming letters and shapes, pain from handwriting, and the inability to space letters and words properly. And mild dyspraxia, which can include poor fine motor skills, struggles with spatial awareness, and poor balance and coordination. I'm 26 now, and I'm utterly incapable of doing math beyond a third grade level. I need help reading long text. I've never successfully taken notes on anything in my life, and there's a lot of shit I can't open. In other words, algebra, not happening. But if you need someone to recognize bird flight patterns, I'm your girl. Jealous. You don't even exist to me! They're witches. We are the weirdos, you say. Okay, soon as I stepped in the club, I hit up the back, show my nigga some.